This is a Logitech Quick Cam Connect with a date on the box that says 2008. I'll unbox this thing and check it out coming up on Thrifty AV. A while back I picked up this Logitech Quick Cam Connect for $4.99 at a thrift store. It is in the box. Now the box is not sealed, but looking inside it looks like this has never been used. This has a date of 2008 when instant message services like Yahoo Messenger were very popular. It says on the box, uh, system requirements Windows XP or Windows Vista. I'm going to be curious to see if this works with Windows 10 and I want to compare it to a more modern webcam. This Logitech C920 Pro. Looking at the outside of the box, they brag about it being the number one selling webcam in the world. Video calling made easy. There is a software disc. Has a built-in microphone, a snapshot button, manual focus ring. It'll clip to the top of a monitor and it'll work with a CRT or desktop. 640 by 480 right sound technology on the microphone, whatever that is. VGA sensor, live capture photo, video capture, 30 frames per second, that's good. USB 2. It does have YouTube upload and YouTube was pretty new at the time. It says it works with Skype, Windows Messenger, Yahoo Messenger, and AOL Instant Messenger. And if you want to invest in Logitech, they're listed on NASDAQ. It looks like the UPC was cut off of this box, probably for a mail-in rebate. Circuit City, Best Buy, and other retailers used to do that sort of thing a lot. Even though this box wasn't sealed, looking inside it, everything is packed very nicely. Uh, too nice for this to have been used. So let's slide this out. Okay, there's the camera. Even the USB has this little protective covering on it. And that'll come out like so. So, here it is. There's the button that lets you take a snapshot. Here's the instruction manual with software. I don't really want to tear up this number too much. If I want to use the software, I might need that number. All right, this software is for Windows XP and Windows Vista 2008 Logitech. I probably will not use that software with Windows 10. Here's instructions in several languages. English is at the front. Here's a quick guide on the software features. Let's hook this up to a computer. I mounted the Logitech Quick Cam on the top of this HP laptop, plugged it in and ran into a little problem. Device manager says that this is an unknown device. So I'm gonna do what I said I wasn't gonna do and I'm gonna try to install the Quick Cam software that's really meant for Windows XP or Windows Vista. Your app does not work on Windows 10. So the software that came with this won't run on Windows 10. I'll look for some software that will. After doing a little digging in the help forums, I've discovered that Logitech has not released drivers that allow this camera to be used on Windows 10 or Windows 7 for that matter. I'll have to install this on either a Windows XP machine or a Vista machine. I do not have that ready right now, but thanks to the magic of editing, it's ready now. If you've been watching Thrifty AV for a while, you might have seen me install Windows 98 on this old AMD Simpron machine. But I know it's capable of Windows XP because this was originally an XP machine. Now I've upgraded the RAM to 2 gig and I've set up a dual boot uh, with Windows XP on the Hitachi drive. So I'm going to go ahead and launch Windows XP. If you want to see 
the full uh, setup of Windows XP. I did record it and I can make a video about it if you're interested. And right now, Windows XP is launching. I plugged in the Logitech using my freshly installed Windows XP. I got found new hardware USB device and here's the hardware wizard that looks for the software for the device. Okay, so I've inserted the uh, CD that came with the Logitech Quick Cam. And the CD is now spinning, so it should pop up with something pretty soon here. I'm going to choose the uh, 30, X32 version of the driver because I believe that's the version of XP that I'm running. And now I'm going to go ahead and install the Logitech software. Okay, I'm going to pick the English language, typical installation, and I'll agree to the terms. I do not want to automatically check for updates. And the software is now installing. The Logitech software has this wizard. I'm gonna go ahead and choose the Logitech mic. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. It, wanted to get a, it wants to get a mic level, so I'm saying the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. This looks like a pretty good level to me. Okay, I've now connected the Logitech Quick Cam up to the Windows XP machine. It is recording a Windows media file. I've tried it a couple times. This is attempt number three. I've been having trouble with the codec on my more modern machine recognizing this file as something that could be edited. Hopefully this time it will work. But as you can see and as you can hear, this video is a lot lower resolution than what a modern webcam can produce. Windows XP and the Quick Cam software did not recognize the more modern C920 Pro webcam. For comparison, I've hooked up my Logitech C920 Pro up to my HP ProBook laptop. It's running Windows 10. Of course, the Logitech Quick Cam will not work on Windows 10 as I've demonstrated earlier. The field of view on this camera is considerably wider, so I was able to move the camera closer to me and still uh, see all the background better than I could with this narrower field of view that's on the uh, Logitech Quick Cam. So in conclusion, I cannot recommend a vintage webcam for a modern PC. Not only is the resolution not as good and the audio not as good, driver support is lacking on Windows 10 for older devices like this one. So even if you could get it running, it's not going to look very good. However, if you have an old machine running Windows XP, Windows Vista, a modern webcam isn't going to work on that. So you might want to go with something like this from the thrift store if you want to run a webcam on an older machine. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Thank you to my patrons for supporting this channel. And remember, stay thrifty, everyone.